Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Period 33 bringing you the first round, first match of the latest Acron beta tournament that went on on Sunday, July 17th between Torbin and Kitan. Torbin is playing Grekum on the east side of the map, and Kitan is playing Grekum on the west side of the map. This is Urban Brawl, a map we've seen before on the, for anyone who watches my channel frequently. This is a, for those who don't watch my channel frequently, this is a 1v1 map with, as we saw it just now, one player in the east and one player in the west. The expansions are primarily in the north, and there's a smaller one in the south with a bit of resources from the middle that are also meant to be part of the expansion, along with a couple expansions on the corners of the north and south. The north is more valuable than the south, but the south has a lot more defensibility than the north. So right now both players are going for the standard Grecum opener, Arcticus at the front, and all the tribes coming in with quick resources, quick, R quick RPs for both players. Looks like, actually, it looks like Torben messed up one of his Octos right here. It's supposed to be an RP, but apparently it's just hanging out. And he's also actually going more for QP and LC. He's not actually building a pure LC build, which a lot of Grecum players are doing. So Torben's going for more tech-heavy build, while Kitan, on the other hand, is... Actually, he's about a minute down from Torben, I should mention. He's going for 6 LC. It looks like he's actually building a QP RP as well. So he does seem to be going a bit more for tech than I've seen before, but he is going for a fast Octo Rush, while Torbin, who's actually a minute up from here, does see the Octo Rush coming, and he isn't going for Octo as much himself. He's going for very fast tech, as we saw with the way he was building up his, his RPs. And Kitan is going for, he has his Octo Progen now, which is about a minute, about half a minute down from where we were looking. And he has an RP coming in as well, so he has six and two, while Torbin has Five and two, although he should have six and two. I'm not sure what happened to his Octo. I imagine he'll be going back in time to fix that. But his more pressing concern right now is the Octo Rush coming in. The Octo Rush is coming in. It's hitting the Arcticus first, but looks like Titan will probably be changing that around. I, he doesn't seem to be too focused on this right now. He seems to be more focused on building up his reef, building up his Octo, or building up more Octos, getting the expand or getting. I thought he was getting expansion, but he's not. Getting more RPs on QP. So he has one RP on all of his main boxes. Torben, about half or about 45 seconds down from there, has an RP on almost all of his boxes except one in each. And right now, it looks like the, tri the entire tribe has actually stood up right now to help out getting rid of these Octos. And it looks like the Faro's quite heavily dam or getting heavily damaged. The Octo, the Octo for Torben is coming to beat the Octo for Titan. It will be doing a very good job of that, but I don't know if the Faro will be able to survive. It looks like the Faro is managing to run away quickly enough to survive, and the Reef will be able to heal up everyone. And now all the progen triad is going back into progen mode, sitting down again to start producing units. Kitan, on the other hand, about 15 seconds up from here is... No, I'm sorry, that's not Kitan. Kitan, 15 seconds up from here, is actually expanding out a bit as well. He's expanding to one of the north corner expansions, mostly for QP, so he's getting a lot of QP. I'm guessing he's gone for advanced structures. I'm guessing he's going to be going for chronoporting very quickly. He's getting a ton of QP for... At the very least, he's going for pharopods, because pharopods require a lot of QP. But it looks like he's basically just used that attack to cover an expansion, which is a very good idea. Well, in most RDS, this is a good idea. From what I can tell, it's a decent idea in Akron. The metagame hasn't been solidified enough to be absolutely sure of that. But for most RTS games, it's a good idea to, when you attack, to cover with an expansion so you can follow up later on. And here we are. So now the Octo that I mentioned before has built its RP. So Torbin will have slightly better economy once the blue time wave here comes up and carries that order forward. However, Torben isn't really doing too much. He has advanced structures. He's getting a fair amount of resources. It looks like he's just trying to get a lot of money for chrono boarding. While Kitan, about half a minute up from him, has almost enough money. Has more, and almost enough QP for chrono boarding. He doesn't have enough LC, but he's getting a lot of RPs for it. Another RP. No, another another reef coming in. Actually, a bunch of domes being built with the octos. So Kitan's going for a very turtle-heavy strategy. This is something that's been very popular for Grekim for the last, I'd say, week and a half or so. Double checking his attack, but probably not going to be changing it too much. Might be attacking directly past the Arcticus now that it's very near the UPP. Actually, yes, he is doing that. He's going past the Arcticus now that it's very near to the UPP, and that will be doing a lot of damage. Torben will have a very hard time, if not an impossible time, countering that. Hopefully he has his defensive set up, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do that. Back when that attack was near the UPP, we saw that he had very few units, and he's probably not going to have a very good time getting around that. He hasn't actually been building, building up for for chronoporting, he's actually been building up pharopods instead, and cyberpods as well. So it doesn't look like either player is really focusing on going for chronoporting. It's hard to tell for Kitan. He's currently about three minutes down, double checking that his octo attack worked out really well. And once this green time wave comes, we'll see that it has worked out extremely well. We see the bars for the attack defense. Yeah, attack and damage. He's dealt a lot of damage. He's not being dealt. He's dealt very little damage. 
to his Octas. It looks like his Octas are actually being able to completely destroy Torbin impeded. Wow, Torbin's going to have a very hard time. Once that green time wave comes up, Torbin is going to be in a very tough spot because that's carrying a lot of damage. I wouldn't say death, but it's falling into the UPP, so it's getting close. Right now, I'm not sure exactly what Torbin can do besides jumping back into that time and actually fending off the attack directly. Looks like he's going for the Fire Pod direct attack on the domes, and the domes, the, one of the domes is there, the other dome will be just destroyed before it gets built, I think. Or no, it has been built, but it will be destroyed very soon after. So, the dome, domes have, are not holding out the Fire Pods, but it doesn't really matter. Once this green time wave comes, Torbin will have nothing to attack with. This attack will actually, as you can see, the, the blue damage here from Torbin. That's being cancelled out very quickly, and there's a lot of red, a lot of damage being dealt to Torbin, so I think Torbin might actually be falling behind on this. So yes, here we are, so the Octos have actually come in, the time wave has come, changed Torbin's point of view entirely, so now he sees Octos coming in, destroying all of his RPs, destroying his triad. Yeah, all he can do right now, if he can do anything at all, is to build, build units from the Arcticus, which he's doing right now, building an Octo from the Arcticus. I'm not sure what he can do beyond this, though, he doesn't have a lot of units back when he can actually fix his attack, he didn't jump to the red when he, sh when he saw it. That flashing red, for anyone out there who plays Akron and hasn't realized this yet, when there's flashing red, you jump back to it. You jump back to it as soon as you see flashing red, even if it's just to check what it is. You must jump back to it, otherwise you will die. Like this. This is a very apt demonstration of why you should always jump back to the red on the timeline. So right now, Torben is trying to do what he can. He has very little chrono energy. He can probably, he'll be able to issue an order in about now. One order right now, which won't do him much good, he'll be able to build a Seppi, which won't help him out, he does not have enough, he doesn't have enough of anything to build a Triad, really, the only thing he could, if he could do anything at all, would be to send some units north, and maybe if he's lucky and the Octos don't see it in time, he'll be able to work around it, but right now, Torben, Torben does not have, actually, you know what, no, Torben managed to get, he managed to get Raptors, okay, yes. unexpected, I actually didn't, I, I expected he was going to be destroyed by the Octus, but yes, that was still a very risky move for Torben. He did lose a lot in the process, but thankfully for him, he did manage, with this, with all of his Arcticus built units, he did manage to get around that. However, he had a ton of resources stockpiled at the time, and if he was able to, he would have been able to probably upgrade Chronoporting. He does have weaponry, though, so he could use a Plasma Cruise Missile sometime, but he doesn't have a lot that's safe right now. Which is rather unfortunate because he does have a lot of RPs being rebuilt. He has managed to rebuild what he needs. He d is sending actually. He's sending a plasma cruise missile out, which will be hitting. Ki well, actually, will hitting Kitan about like ten seconds down from here. There it is. That's the arrival, and the damage has been dealt. So Kitan has been dealt a ton of damage to his main base, but I don't know how much damage is actually going to be dealt. Actually, you know what? No, that was red on. Yeah, that was red on Torben and blue and Kitan. Kitan actually managed to shoot that missile down. So no damage was dealt. So right now Kitan's in. Not as good of a spot as he expected, but he's still in a pretty good spot. He's sending, he's actually chronoported, yeah, he has gotten chronoported. He's chronoported what looks like probably these pods back, and that's going to be dealing a lot of damage. So, as you see here, the green time wave, once again, is carrying a ton of damage. The, yes, there we are, the chronoported pods right there, right where I expected them. And that is going to be very harsh for Torben. Tor Torben's going to have a very hard time dealing with this. I don't think he'll be able to, honestly. That last attack, he got lucky, managed to get his way out of it. He wiggled his way out of it, but... I think this one is destroying his Arcticus, it's going to quickly... Yeah, his Arcticus is going down. If that goes down, he has no Triad. He's not going to be able to fix this at all. He doesn't have enough... He has barely enough money for Chronoporting. And he's going to try to get it right now. But I seriously doubt it's going to happen in time. He needs to... He is fast forwarding. That's what he needs to do. This is the best he can do is fast forward, try to Chronoport something back. At the very least, I know this is very Paradox heavy, but I think the best thing he can probably do is Chronoport back part of a Triad to help him out in the Unplayable Pass. Because honestly... I don't think he'll be able to chronoport enough units further, farther enough back in time to stop the attack in the first place. I, he's trying to get some sepi pods to try to chronoport back to kill the fire pods, but really the limit on chronoporting is about 170 seconds. It's a little under three minutes, which means that right now he's right here. The limit is about here, and of course, as time goes on and chronoporting takes a while to research, the limit's actually probably going to turn out to be somewhere around here-ish. In all honesty, and that is going to be very, very problematic. And yes, he has sent a he has sent a sepi pod back, but it's way too late. The sepi pod just goes back to see completely destroyed base, and Torben realizes he has lost the game. He's GG'd, and that is the game. Very well played, Chrono Rush by Kitan, and not a lot of defense from Torben. Rather surprising play from Torben. I guess he hasn't been keeping up to date as much of the meta game, because as I mentioned before, Kitan was going off basically what Grekum are doing now, which is pretty heavy on the initial rush. Pretty, or initial scouting rush, and going heavier for LC, and of course, the chronoporting, I mean, maybe Torben with some chronoporting might have been able to hold it off, but 
really... The Turtle Rush, that's where... The, I know, it sounds really oxymoronic, but yes, the Turtle Rush. Turtle, then Corona Rush. And that's pretty much been the strategy right now for Grekum. So, that's match one between Torben and Kitan, and thank you for watching.